Welcome to Kovalev versus Ward. I'm Gareth A. Davis. It's a pleasure to be on here today with you all. Um, looking at the fight, here's my picks. Obviously, we know 84% knockout power. We have to give the power to Kovalev. I think that's right to do so. Having said that, when Ward manages to get people in the right position, he has power as well. Speed, I'm giving it to Andre Ward. I think Kovalev, yes, has speed, but Ward has that fear fibre, that fear twitch going on. He's got that Mayweather thing, Pernell Whitaker had it, other guys had it who are able to avoid punishment in the ring. Defensive qualities are often about speed. So I'm giving that to Andre Ward. Chin, I think these guys, both unbeaten, one in 31 fights, the other in 30 fights. You don't go that far at this elite level without having a great chin, but also being able to protect yourself and cover yourself well. So that's an even one for me, but who knows? If anyone's going to be exposed in this fight, probably you'd say it was Andre Ward's chin. But again, as I say, defensively he's so brilliant, so poised, I don't really see a knockout, but Kovalev has the power to do it. Experience, I think you've got to give it to Andre Ward. If you look at the list of Kovalev's opponents, Nathan Cleverley, who he won the belt off, was still an inexperienced world champion who hadn't really had tests at the elite level. Andre Ward went through the Super Sixes, Froch, um, all these guys, I can't remember all their names now, Abraham, um, Mikel Kessler, Durrell, all these guys. It was a really tough tournament and he emerged of course as the 168 pound king at the end of it. Against a very tough guy, Carl Froch. Look what Froch achieved by the end of his career. Ring IQ, at this moment in time I'm giving it to Andre Ward. We know he's got the smarts, we know he comes from the old black street school style of fighting espoused by Virgil Hunter, passed down through generations from some of the great black trainers of course in, in this part of America. Um, that having said that, Kovalev is patient, that Eastern European technique, um, so you can't write that off. Um, ring control. This is, uh, this is very interesting. Um, I think Ward doesn't mind fighting going backwards and he likes to clinch coming forwards. Kovalev is very good at stalking his opponents. He, he gets his feet in the right position. He's looking to wind people up for those right hands, for those left hooks. But what I would say is, you, it's, it's, it's very hard for me to break that because both men have their own type of ring control. But ring control, the ring generalship in this fight is going to be the key to the fight. Probably Ward's footwork. Stamina, they've both got it. They've both been however many rounds you want them to go. Kovalev's built like a truck. He's, he's got an amazing engine. He'll go all night, we know he will. He, he's, he's so dedicated to his craft. And uh, Andre Ward, as we know, has a great ability over 12 rounds. Finally, the X Factor. For me, even though I'm picking Andre Ward to win this fight on points, I don't see Kovalev winning it on points, unless he knocks Ward down during the fight. He has the X Factor because of the power of his fists, because of the power that has seen him knock out 26 of his 30 opponents. It's a major fight, it's the best matchup of the year in terms of a pure boxing matchup. It's a big event and I just hope that it's a great fight because I'd actually like to see a trilogy between these two men who've really made the light heavyweight division alive and live. Thank you very much. I'm Michael Rosenthal, editor-in-chief of The Ring magazine, uh, and my prediction for the Andre Ward, Sergei Kovalev is this. I think that, first of all, I think it's a great matchup. Um, rarely do we see fighters of this caliber uh, fight one another these days. This is something very special. Uh, but I think that Ward is uh, clearly a superior all-around fighter, and for that reason I think he's going to win a wide decision. Um, I think Kovalev's got power, he might have a size advantage in this fight, but I don't think he's going to be able to figure Ward out. Ward's just too clever, uh, at this point too experienced, um, and I just think he's, gonna, he's just going to frustrate Kovalev with his boxing skills. Uh, again, Kovalev is good, I just think that, that Ward is um, 
one of those uh, boxing savants, boxing geniuses who just, just knows how to neutralize uh, his opponents and win fights. Um, I could be wrong, but I just, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see. Um, again, I'm excited about this fight. This is something very special. I just don't think it'll be as competitive as people think. Ward by a wide decision. Hi, this is Lance Pugmire with the Los Angeles Times. I believe Andre Ward will dominate this fight. I think he is uh, still at the peak of his game as, as far as boxing. I think he's going to win about 10, 10 of the 12 rounds and cruise to a victory by unanimous decision.